Hey guys, what is up? And I welcome each and every one of you to a new League of Legends video. And in this one, boys and girls, we are going to be on the PBE server playing not only the new preseason because it finally hit the PBE servers, which by the way, it is a little bit glitched, but you're going to see something quite interesting if you look at my character already, right? On the right of my HP bar, what do you see? You see a phase rush. Now you might be wondering, do you go phase rush Kiana? But then you look at the bottom left and you see something that looks like Kleptomancy, but it is now called Kalita Stone. You're just wondering what the hell is going on? Well, guys, if you're not aware, Kleptomancy did get reworked. So before we go into it, by the way, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. But uh, yeah, so Kleptomancy, or in this case, Kalita Stone, is a new keystone. What does it do? Well, now, instead of giving you gold every time you auto-attack somebody, right, with an ability or something, then you auto-attack, you get gold, potentially uh, even more gold, or like, you know, potions, etc. Like items, essentially. Now it actually just swaps between all the other keystones. So in this case, I start with Kla what's it called, phase rush, and then after I used and proc phase rush, or if uh, I think like two minutes pass without me using it whatsoever, it'll re-roll into another keystone about six seconds later out of combat, and then maybe it'll be like phase rush, maybe it'll be electrocute, maybe it'll be fleet footwork, maybe it'll be grass, maybe aftershock or something like that, um, and that's kind of just how it works, it's just an entirely new keystone, so I'm gonna be testing it out for you guys on this video, seeing how it feels, seeing how it is, all that good stuff. And if you enjoy, yeah, again, don't forget to hit that like button, boys and girls, but let's test it out. Let's see what it, what it offers and what it can do. I'm trying out, by the way, uh, Doran Shield also got some changes. It's a lot better now for melees, apparently. Just FYI. Up, let me see, six seconds every second, blah, blah, blah. Basic attacks would restore or deal additional five damage and you generate up to 30 health over 10 after taking damage from an enemy champion based on percent missing health. Pretty interesting stuff. So it's supposed to be better for uh, champions that are melee against ranged. Oh, my friend, my friend, let's... We can talk about this, my friend, we can talk about this, come on. Dude, okay, this tower is just trolling me, huh? It just wants to see us for itself. That's a greedy tower, I will admit. A very, very greedy tower. So normally I go for a corrupting potion, as I'm sure you guys know. Uh, and this, oh, that minion block is. I was right clicking that minion that whole time. Just saying. Wow, that actually hurt. He could have ignited me and killed me. Wait, how, you did so much damage to me. Okay, so now what do we have? We have electric next. Okay, so we're gonna wait. Let all this, of course, stack up. We are now level three, which is really good. I think that's actually landing his Qs, yo. Straight up. Okay, I guess I'll reset quickly. So, earlier when I went for the trade, I actually thought that I had Electrocute. So, I I harassed him with the intent of proccing Electrocute. And then I realized that I I obviously don't have Electrocute. So, that was interesting. Uh, how much is the Corrupting Potion again? I forgot. Where is it? I literally cannot see it. Corrupting Potion is 500? Yo, what am I? Bill Gates over here? I can't afford a 500 potion, hello? That's so expensive. Kha'Zix top, I'm gonna switch that out right there. So yeah, so I don't know, It's I'm not really sure how good or how bad this keystone is. It's uh, it's, a, it's a weird one, it's definitely a weird one. Uh, we have Aerie ready to go, so I guess that's not too bad. This Zed is actually doing quite a bit of damage to me, I will admit, I'm a little surprised. See, I clearly know something I don't. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I don't think you can get Dark Harvest, actually. I think some of them you cannot get, because it just wouldn't make sense. So, for instance, um, Dark Harvest is one of them. He doesn't have Electrocute, well, I do, so I should be able to win trades. Okay, or we could just miss CS entirely, that's fine, too. No worries. Didn't want that cannon anyways. Did not want it. Now we have Lethal Tempo. So I don't know if this is the best keystone on Kiana specifically. You probably still want to go Electrocute, but I just want to play it on Kiana because it'll be fun. See how it goes. I don't think it's like the worst thing in the world, but I'm not sure if it's the best thing either. Come here. Come here, Mr. Zed. Okay, he's way too close to tower now. That's going to proc my, my Lethal Tempo though. Yeah, that's going to proc it. So now we're going to get a new one. Once again, boys and girls. This guy's killable. Oh, we have common. Perfect. We can kill him with common right here. All I have to do is flash a Q him. He's dead. Wow. Wow. He actually lived that. Nice. Well played. Wait, this guy's actually not like not not bad at Zed, to be honest. 
He flashed my uh, Q, which would have killed him. I guess I should have waited for it. I don't know. For some reason, I don't think he would react fast enough, but... I guess I better start giving him the benefit of the doubt, because he clearly will. Now we have Geo... No, not GLP. What's it called again? I forgot what this one's called. Glacial Augments is the one we have now. Okay. Someone in my chat on Facebook, by the way, is where I stream, guys. Posted. The only ones you can get are Lethal Temple, Fleet Forward, Summon Airy, Comet, Phase Rush, Predator, only if you have boots. Uh, Electrocute, Halo Blades, Grass of the Undying, and Glacial Augment. Okay, so you can't get Dark Harvest, but it kind of makes sense why you can't, because uh, otherwise you're going to be stacking something that, let's be honest, you'll be stacking it for not a very... You won't be stacking it efficiently, I guess is what I'm trying to say, right? It's not going to be very, very powerful in that sense. Now, the new... Ooh, look at this Sanguine Blade, though. Yummy. We have this one. So they removed the Time At version of it, apparently. The Time At is Lethal t Temple. Or the Time At Lethality item is not in the store anymore. <clears throat> For whatever reason. Unfortunate. Yeah, I'm not there. I'm just saying, boys. Like, I'm not even, like, I'm not even there. As much as I want to help, I'm not even there. I was at base. I'm just saying. Kills that as he comes back to lane. He has to come back to lane through here, so we'll just kill him quickly. Camille Zed. Camille. Unless he's backing. He could be backing. That is a possibility. I'm going to stand up here just in case he actually walks all the way around, which is also a possibility. But I'm assuming he's thinking that I'm waiting for him, so he's not coming. Damn, this Zed is, that is actually insane. This guy's a big brain player. Because when I play on PBE, I expect, you know, not big brain players, I guess you can say. This guy's this guy's a big brain. This is perfect. I'm coming too! Wait for me! Give me an assistance! Yo, what's up? We take those, boys. We take those. We gotta make sure we get the kill, you know? For the content, for the content. Now we gotta run back to mid lane ASAP because that's a lot of farm waiting for me under tower there, which we wanna get to as soon as possible. The Zed, of course, is pushing it in because I'm Rome, uh, which is smart. He went for armor boost first items too. I mean, I guess we are full AD. Yeah, everyone's full AD. We're both full AD. He just took tower shots for. He took tower shots to get one stack of the thing. Okay, I guess that's worth it. If I had flash, he was dead though, but. He probably knows I have no flash, so that's why he did it. Makes sense to me. Alright, let's see, let's see. What can we do here? Okay. Hmm. If I can end a full combo on him, I, I'll, I'll kill him, but he can also ult my combo, which kind of sucks. I'm like literally missing stuff against him that I shouldn't be missing. <clears throat> okay, let's see what he does here. I'm hoping he does something stupid here and walks up to check this bush. He also might use his W to push his wave in. If he does, that means I can go on him. Okay. Okay, we take that, we take that. I'm gonna use my biscuit here just for... Zed that, is that he's actually not bad, straight up. The only reason I'm just so surprised is, is I'm so used to PvE server being full of like, just people that have no idea what they're doing, you know? So to finally face someone, and especially on a champion like Zed that seems to just have an understanding of what the champion does and how to play him, you know, potentially outplay and stuff. I guess it's almost refreshing. Oh, Mr. Cosmos. Wait, you're OP. Wait, this guy's insane. This guy's an actual smurfer. Let's watch it, let's watch it. Wait, she's dead. She's trolling. Alright. I wish I was facing Vayne in the mid lane instead, I'll be honest. That would have been better. 
Okay, so we have a making B track of the keystones I've been using. So now we have Electrocute. I didn't really notice the one I had before that. I wasn't paying too much attention. Uh, now, we can't get boots because, of course, we have the free boots coming in. Because, of course, I had to go for the... Um, uh, the rune page that, of course, has the new Klepto, or in this case, Kalita Stone. So we have the new boots coming in, actually, pretty much in one second. Give me that. Proc the Electrocute. Now, what do we get next? It's almost kind of fun because you get to see just, oh, what's next? Like it's, like, it's like a lottery almost, you know? Do I get something good? Do I not? Hmm, curious. So now we get Aftershock. Okay, that's not bad actually because I can proc that super easily with my uh, my, my water element, right? That's pretty nice. If you if you have, wait, hold on, what do you do though? Okay, so if you have Aftershock on a champion that literally has no way to proc Aftershock, right? Like let's say I was playing Zed. I literally have no way to proc Aftershock. It's just impossible, right? So what happens in that scenario, in case you're curious, is after two minutes, I believe it is, of not using a Keystone, I killed Vayne here. Where's she walking to? Is she walking here? The aftershock kill though. Nice dude. Just getting the kill, the aftershock right there. So now what do we get next? Let's see. We get Arcane Comet. Okay, that's not bad. I like Arcane Comet. It has AD scaling, it's a pretty decent keystone. But yeah, it's fun just because you get to test out other things. And it's actually a good way to test out. What might the, the actual like, true best keystone on the champion might be, you know? Because you get to try all these other ones instead. Except for obviously like things like Dark Harvest. And that will give you potentially like a good idea as to which ones might just actually truly be the best, you know? I'll have Arcane Comet for one thing and then I'll try it out and I'm like, oh, okay, well that felt pretty strong. And then I'll try out Electrocute. I'm like, okay, well that felt pretty strong. I'll have Flea Forest. I'll try that. Okay, well that was, you know, not so good maybe. And you kind of get a lot of nice ways to test it out, which is pretty cool. I like that. Oh wait, it's not the new Lethality rework yet. I thought they have the new rework on Lethality on the PvE, but they don't. So they have the new recipes for them. Oh no, they do, never mind. Okay, so they do have a JK. Yikes. But they don't have the new one. They don't have the new time at Lethality, which kind of sucks. So I think I'll go for this one as well, because it's... It looks like it's fun to use now. I am not there for this fight. I mean, that could, probably is my bad. Maybe I should be paying attention more. I'm not paying attention, to be completely honest. I'm too busy, like... Doing my own thing, which I guess is my bad boys. I apologize. Come here, boy. Yeah, we take those. Okay, I just gotta pray that Camille's not coming after me. Get me out, get me out. I want to live, I want to live. Camille, 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 Camille. Okay, beautiful, easy, easy clap. So I had the arcane comment there. Now we have press the attack. Now press the attack, obviously. Not so good on Kiana, right? I'm not really feeling it. Actually, I take that back. The second I get the new lethality item, which of course is gonna be this bad boy right here, Sanguine Blade, which gives me attack speed if I'm by myself, that might be good with press the attack, because I'll actually do a lot of damage. GG team indifference. Unlucky. Okay, so, like I said, the new preseason is here, but it's also very glitched. Like, the new bushes aren't spawning. Like, they're there, but they're not actually spawning, if that makes any sense. It's like a visual issue or something like that. I'm not really sure how to describe it better than that. Now, it appears my team is fighting, and it requires some assistance, so I'll go ahead and make my way. Proc the press attack. See, I could have killed it with my Q, but I chose not to because I want to proc press the attack because I actually want to get rid of it. I don't like it just yet. It's not what I really want to be seeing on my champion yet. Now, I have this weird thing under me. I don't know what that is. Is that the new blue buff look? Oh, wait, that's the new blue buff. Wait, that looks pretty cool, actually. I like that. So the buff itself, I think, is the same. Um, The buff itself is the same. It just looks different visually. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense, makes sense. Yeah. 
See, um, this is where I'm just really used to having mobility boots so I can run around the map so much faster. It just feels so much better to be able to make plays like that, you know? I feel like so slow right now, it's crazy. Wait, there's a fucking... Okay, so that, the only reason this is here is because of the ocean dragon being the, the dragon that changes the map, right? Keep that in mind, guys. Uh, there should be a lot of bushes around this area, but they're not here. I don't want to die. I'm just going to go ahead and not die. Hmm. Yo, that looks so fun. <laughs> it is. Oh, well, it looks like Zed dies. Unfortunate for you, my friend. That's gotta be a pretty tough thing that I didn't die there. <laughs> Just constantly abusing my Q. Wait, what's going on ball lane? Hello, these guys are just having some fun over there. Can I join in on that fun too, please? That'll be... Huh. I want to have fun too, boys. 3,000 gold for this item, so let's go ahead and see if we can get it here. Get this tower quickly. See, if I had that item right now, I would have a lot of damage here to this tower because I would just attack super, super like fast, I guess. And now we have 3,000 gold, so now we can get it. Uh, okay, fine. You know what? Whatever. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and get the new item. 3,000 gold. Beautiful, beautiful. Who is that? Is that a misfortune? Wait, I forgot. Dude, no one bought that skin. I swear to God. I actually don't think... I guess I don't really see misfortune to begin with, but when I do see misfortune, they're definitely not using that skin. So I feel like they... Did anyone even buy that skin? Straight up. It's a good skin. It's just... I don't think anyone really plays the champion. That's the issue, boys and girls. That is that is the issue right here. All right, so what do we have now? We have aftershocks. So you always want to keep paying attention to which current keystone you have because that will change kind of the way you'll approach the situation, right? So in this case, because I have aftershock, I'm not as worried anymore about being very very vulnerable. If that makes any sense, so I can be a lot more aggressive with how I play this. Like for instance, we kill Camille here. She's gonna ward this bush 100%. Oh, we have Hail of Blades. Nice. That's a fun one. What the fuck? You see? It's the bush, right? It's the bush. Like, there's bushes here. Right here. See, I'm invisible. There's a bush right here, but it's not... It's glitched. Like, the visualness... Of, it's, it's not visually there, guys. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I don't know why Rai released it like this. It's very strange, I'll be honest. Wait, this is different. Striking an isolated enemy or structure grants 40%. Oh. For five seconds. Wait, they nerfed it. Unlucky, I guess. Oh, they actually nerfed it. What the hell? Why? Wait, so it doesn't just give you passively attack speed anymore. Now you have to attack something first before you get it. So that's not as good anymore, man. That's kind of so-so, to be completely honest. Not really too big on that one. Hmm. I wish there was someone else as perfect as me. Okay, how do I proc it there? What proc it? I don't understand. What am I procking it? An isolated enemy or structure? Like, I understand why I proc it there, but... What? Why am I walking through that? I'm so... Oh, they surrendered. Okay, well, there you guys have it. That's some gameplay of the new keystone. 
the map is just incredibly glitched, so that's really, really weird. Um, yeah, but I guess that's that's it. I mean, even though the map is super glitched, I mean, the keystone itself worked as intended. So there you guys have it. The new Cloud Demands here, in this case, the Kaleidoscope or whatever it's called. Let me know what you think about it down below. If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you all so much for being here, and I'll see you for the next one. Peace.